beautiful morning in the northeast. I'm with Jimmy. Hello. Where are we going, Jimmy? Uh, to work. Oh. <laughs> There's lots of fun stuff we've got to do this week. Long way or short way? Oh, uh, alternative long way. What's the alternative long way? This. I feel no, like we're no, riding no. away from your work. <laughs> really <laughs> far away. Oh, yeah. Completely the wrong oh, direction. Oh, dog on the loose. Oh. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I've been off the bike for quite a while now. I haven't really done any proper riding since the week Mary was here. In fact, I did three hours of exercise last week, trying to get over the vaccine and stuff. And some of that was running, so definitely had my rest from the bike. Getting back into things nice and easy. Will be two and a half hours today, maybe three. You've got to get home though. You might have five hours to do. Ooh. You can see what well, because we're nice and safe well, but it's very direct well it's, it's not that it's direct it's that it's it flows really fast because it's essentially a road for bikes finally all cycle lanes are this big oh i say as it gets smaller <laughs> Pro protection from the bastard car ah peacock what the, what the I saw it fly up onto the top and it's such a huge size. Jesus. I thought it was like a dog. I thought it was like a fake peacock feather sticking out of the thing. Back. Nice bit of main road done. Back on the lines. Almost at the office now. Hour and a half. Going good. We've got to do this last section slowly. Why? I'm tired. All right. <laughs> I realised I didn't really explain what was going on with the bikepacking situation. We are still bikepacking to Scotland this week. It's just going to be me and Jimmy. Chris has gone home now, but we're going to go later in the week once he's got his bits for Atticus done because there's a few uh, outstanding jobs that he needs to finish once he's done that couple of days after his shift's done going up north even further to the Scottish border and uh, kill the forest so it should look absolutely mint as they would say up here big lump of bread one of the best things you can eat halfway through a ride what you got also a big lump of bread mm. Mm. We did stop for a little bit too long and now it's uh, midday sun. I quite like it though, Jimmy. Quite nice. Whoa. Oh, God. I'm broken. Chocolate cake. How am I thought then? You may remember a while back we sanded one of Jimmy's bikes and it took a very, very long time. In fact, we didn't even get halfway through it when both of us spent all day doing it. Oh. It's getting there. But that's taken two of us about four hours. Is it getting there though? It's not really, is it? In his own time, Jimmy's been working hard and sanding the rest of it, and he eventually got it resprayed. Is that basically the story? Basically, yeah. Who sprayed it for you in the end? I can't remember if he was in, I, no, he wasn't in any of the other vi the videos when we were sanding it, were we? Opposite our warehouse is a guy which does crashed car repair, bodywork repair. And he's been doing it for like decades, but he's also a triathlete. So Your bike was bikes. basically in the state of a crashed car. Mm -hmm. Gave it to him. And he smashed it up and gave me a new one. I feel like I owe it to you, the viewers, to conclude this story. Here is the bike, which is for some reason in exactly the same green as your, your jersey. I said to him, um, don't bother buying paint. We'll just use something that you've already got. And he laughed. And then he, I was like, a green, a dark green. And he had three of them, and this is the one we want them. I was surprised how little paint it actually is needed, needed to do it. It's a hundred grams lighter than it was when it was yellow. Really? Mm. Yeah, like just the, the frame and the fork together. Yeah. With nothing, like nothing on it at all. None of the like fairings or... Built by Nick Vieri of back, Backyard Bike Shops in classic Nick Vieira fashion. What? It's slow, lots of chat, complaining. 400 coffees and three bagels. A little bit of humping. From Bruce. Yeah, okay. and Nick. This is my new revelation as well, actually. Stem bag, camera holder. Interesting as well, if you smell it, it smells like, like beef. I was so miserable this morning. One bike ride sorts you right out. Three hours, lots of sun. A few efforts at the start and the end. Get those legs moving. We are having an offensively early dinner. 
and today. Apparently you ain't got to wear masks anywhere anymore. I don't personally have much of an opinion formed on that at the moment because it doesn't really affect us that much. I basically only hang out with Jimmy and Emily and for the next couple of days I'm going to be sleeping in a field with Jimmy so I'm sure it's quite a controversial topic at the moment because lots of people still want to carry on wearing them. Be interested to hear what you think in the comments. I think if we're taking transport and that kind of things we'll probably still wear a mask just to be safe. You have to in London so... TFL, yeah. But I personally would like won't go clubbing and stuff till I have both my jabs. You know what's more exciting than muff? New rollers. It's really 100% safe. I'll give it a go for the vlog if you really want me to. Give the people what they want. Wait, the slugs walk? Should we take him back to the car with us? Have you ever trodden on the slug? No. I have without any shoes on, it's horrible. Just thought we'd come out, end the day, in the beautiful sunset. Make the most of living out here. So close to stuff like this. We are thoroughly enjoying our time up here. And uh, when we did visit London a couple of weeks ago, it was really nice to be back, see people we haven't seen in a while. But it definitely mm -hmm. reminded us that we made the right decision. Moving away was good. And it just means you end up appreciating the city more when you do actually go back. We're gonna be heading there again at the end of this week because there's some cool stuff on. Some mountain biking to be done, some Bike Fit Tuesdays to be filmed, and Thunder Crit is on, which is a two day fixed gear crit at Hearn Hill Velodrome. So looking forward to being back after the bike packing adventure this week. Feels a bit soon to be going back though, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know how we ended up doing two trips so close together. It's a bit like, we've only just sort of gotten settled back at home, so. It's like a weird feeling of like being a bit gutted to be going back so soon, but also it'll be really nice to see everyone, so. It Hopefully. does look like uh, thunderstorms though. Jump for the puddle. Oh. Yeah,